What's up guys, Matt with Schnee's here, coming at you from the uh, rooftop of the parking garage right behind our downtown Bozeman, Montana headquarters. Uh, today we're looking at something I'm super jacked about. Uh, I'm kind of a glass snob and these two binos are our top picks over all other binos. We have our top regular binocular, the Suaro NL Pure 10x42 and our top range finding binocular the Leica Geovid3200.coms. Let's take a little bit deeper look into each of these. We'll start things off with the Suaros. Without question, these are the clearest, nicest binoculars I've ever looked through, ever. I've looked through, I've looked through Zeiss, I've looked through the Razer Ultra HDs, the old ELs, the new Leicas, the Noctavids, um, you name it, I've looked through pretty much everything out there into my eyes. There isn't a clearer binocular out there than these NL Peers. But beyond that, you know, they're pretty crazy, like design wise. Like they almost seem impossibly thin, like there's missing pieces or something, but they're just very thin and ergonomic. This whole new design for Suaro is, uh, as far as I'm concerned, probably the most comfortable to hold binocular out there. You can see these like cuts in the body that just fit your hand perfectly when you're holding. So when you're holding like that, your index finger and your thumb just kind of wrap around them and uh, they're super comfortable to hold. They're impossibly light. Um, you know, they feel incredibly well built as you would expect from a Swarovski binocular. They also have these sweet little integrated lens caps so you never have to worry about dropping them. They just clip right onto the end right there. Super convenient. You don't have to worry about leaving them at home or having them fall off. You can remove them if you don't like them. Um, but they're pretty handy just to keep on there. Something else that's really cool on these binos as opposed to pretty much every single binocular out there um, is the ocular adjustment to actually focus the things. So you have your normal focus wheel which is also buttery smooth, um, feels very good in the hand, but you also have this little knob right here and that knob works just like the regular focus knob on the on like a normal binocular except for it works on both at the same time and you can see the adjustment right here so if I move this knob from the other side you can see it in the adjustment range and uh, in practice it works really good um, something I've not liked about most binoculars for a long time is the ocular adjustments right here they tend to move around like some of them are better than others but most most of them over time you're putting them in and out of your bino harness they just get like moved or something and then you see one eye is a little bit off focus compared to the other one and uh, with this you don't really worry about that. Um, kind of a clever little design Swarovski thought up there. Something else I look for that no one ever really talks about uh, with binoculars is kind of the ratio of glass to eyepiece in the back. And on cheaper binoculars you'll notice that there's the like the opening where the glass is, is a lot smaller and on more high-end binoculars or clear better uh, binoculars it gets bigger and on these um, the only other binocular that I've looked through that comes close to or matches these is the uh, Leica Noctavids uh, also a super clear binocular but these have just like a crazy uh, glass to like eyepiece opening and what that does is it just it's like looking through a rifle scope that has like a big opening you just have this like big eye box they're very forgiving to look through you don't have to be like exactly right behind it or anything um, you can just hop right behind these things and usually you have a good view you're ready to go pretty quick uh, you don't have to like hunt around to find the sweet spot next up we're going to check out the geovid3200.com by Leica this is my top pick for a range finding binocular out there and I'll tell you why the exterior first off it's the whole thing is covered in this thick durable rubberized coating um, you know the, the body itself is magnesium so with this coating on there, you don't really have to worry. You could drop it, bang it, you know, put it in and out of your pack. You're not really going to have to worry about it uh, getting damaged. Um, so it's super protected. It feels very durable. It's, it's something that you won't have to think about while you're out in the field. Um, beyond that, when you look at this thing compared to any other bino, you can see it's almost like an S shape. It's not a perfectly straight bino. And uh, it's just due to like the type of prism they use inside. Um, having that shape and it actually 
ends up having the benefit of like ergonomically it's very comfortable to hold what i find is that when i grab it like this your pad under your thumb kind of rests right here and you kind of tuck your thumb in like that and when you hold it it just falls right in the hand and you can kind of tuck these fingers in there too uh, super comfortable to hold you know holding it like that you can kind of just kind of tuck your arms and rest there and just look through them all day very comfortably um, another thing on the exterior is you can see that the bridge on these has a laser on it and that means you can't run a regular uh, tripod adapter but I've kind of gotten over it uh, these are my personal ones I usually run a little uh, little rest with a strap um, I have a loop old one that's super light works really good very small uh, not a huge deal but some guys really want that uh, you know uh, binocular adapter for a tripod you're not going to have that with these um, interesting fact about the laser unlike most other laser rangefinders out there um, when you look through these and you see your little aiming reticle on most other binoculars only a, like a certain amount of the laser actually has to touch that reticle for it to be in spec on Leica's more than 50% of that has to be inside the already tight reticle um, so that that's like spec for Leica and what that does is when you're aiming at something your laser is actually hitting it whereas some other ones you actually have to zero your laser to find out where it's hitting inside that reticle to know when you're ranging something and you know inside a 30 yards to 100 yards or something um, even up to like 500 yards it's not that big a deal but when you start talking about ranging a deer uh, or an elk or something out past a thousand yards you know you might be ranging the target or the hillside behind it instead of the actual animal or in front of it depending on where your reticle is hitting but with these guys Leica's made sure that the actual laser is inside of that reticle for the most part so you can pretty much range confidently uh, whenever you hit that button going back to ergonomics you can see the two buttons are right here I think this is the best placement for a button on a rangefinder your fingers are just naturally right here so they just fall into place um, I used to have a pair of the Zeiss's and that was almost like a pinky press and you get used to it it's just not as it's this just feels right like it's right there it's super convenient um, and then diving into the buttons you get two options with your buttons so this first one right here that's your range button you press that you'll get the range and uh, it'll do it every time um, this one right here you can press and you can get your environmentals so you press it it'll say uh, you know 85 degrees outside 29.8 inches of mercury air pressure and then your angle if you're going up or down uh, super convenient if you run a ballistics app um, or some sort of like compensating chart and you need to know your angles and all that stuff uh, it'll give it to you right there something else I like that Leica did was they made battery replacement very easy on this thing um, some of them I've used in the past aren't the easiest to replace this one's fairly simple uh, the battery compartments right there it has a little slot um, you can use a key or a coin or uh, you know anything really and you just turn it pop the new battery in and you're good to go um, very easy to get to it's not like tucked away or anything um, and that'll bring me up to like one of the main selling points about this thing uh, besides the rangefinder is the glass um, as you would expect with a pair of rangefinding binoculars in this price range and coming from Leica the glass is exceptionally perfect um, I've looked through the Swarovski range finding binoculars like I said I used to have the Zeiss RFs and all the glass was very good um, you'd be hard-pressed to find a huge difference between any of them anymore um, but these ones are are very clear they aren't going to be as clear as that NL pure but they're super clear um, sharp uh, color is very good there's no chromatic aberration um, contrast is very good and they give you almost a 3D effect when you're looking at things. It's it's super good glass to look through. You could spend hours behind it. Um, you won't get any eye fatigue or anything. They're just really good to look through. So the main feature about these uh, is the rangefinder, obviously. And we'll start with just ranging performance. Um, these things are untouchable. No no one else out there can beat the ranging performance out of these Leicas, um, except for maybe like. Uh, like a Saffron PLRF or some sort of military grade rangefinder, you know, these aren't going to go up to their level. But as far as most normal consumer grade rangefinders, 
Um, nothing has been able to touch these things. Uh, at a recent shooting competition we went out, I had a pair of the Zeiss RFs, my partner had a pair of these, and the Zeisses were struggling in, in uh, bright sunny conditions like we have today. They just wouldn't range consistently. I was having issues ranging out to even 1,200 yards consistently. They just wouldn't do it. They kind of let me down. Um, those have since gone, and these are actually my new personal Leicas, and they're just ridiculous. We just went out here, and off in the distance, there's a hillside, and I was able to pick up 3,200 yards and change almost every single time, which is just ridiculous. It's noon out. This is the harshest sun conditions possible. It's also smoky, which impacts most rangefinders. And these things are rock solid. You, you should have no issues in any lighting conditions ranging at least out to 28, 2900 yards. Um, I know that doesn't sound like it's useful to most people. Um, you know, most people aren't going to shoot out to 2900 yards or anything, but uh, it makes those closer in ranges just guaranteed every time, you know, having a rangefinder this powerful. Being able to range that far, what it gives you is the ability to, you know, if you see an elk across a hillside or something, you could range it and know, oh, that elk is over a mile away. It'll take me this long to get there. And you can kind of gauge distances better because it's, you know, in the mountains, distances can be kind of deceiving. And this just kind of helps you, you know, have a better estimate of exactly how far that animal is away from you. Um, and then, you know, if you do some ELR type shooting, these things are going to be awesome for that. The next thing that these things offer is the internal ballistics. So on board on these guys are, you know, your atmospheric conditions, your temperature, your humidity, your barometric pressure. Um, and what that gives you is the ability to, you know, compensate for like your location. So you can put in your your exact round that you're shooting, you know, you know your bullet, your weight, your ballistic coefficient, your velocity, stick it into these guys. And then these will compute, uh, you know, if you're shooting 700 yards and you're shooting like a six creed, it'll be like, come up seven mils or, you know, whatever it is um, on board. And it'll do that internally without anything else out to uh, about 1100 yards is what I hear. I haven't got to test it out that far yet. Um, I use a Kestrel connected to it, which I'll get to in a second. But on board for most hunting applications, you know, inside of a thousand yards these things will give you a very accurate ballistics correction um, for your shooting distance which brings me to the next point if you're shooting beyond 1100 yards and you need to get uh, corrections you can take out your kestrel and pair it with these guys via bluetooth now all this works through an app that's on your phone you can put in go on your app put in your ballistics information load it into your binoculars and then on your kestrel your kestrel and your uh, binoculars connect to each other without the phone you don't need a phone or anything and the way I've run it in practice is you just keep these things in your chest rig just keep it on this thing's always giving you environmentals and you just range and as you range it's feeding all that to this Kestrel and your Kestrel will spit out uh, your ballistics calculation so as far as you can range this thing will give you an accurate ballistics calculation to whatever distance you're shooting. You are you have to be responsible for the wind, you know, that's it's not gonna help you there, but as far as distance and elevation, this system's gold right here. So yeah, that is the geovid3200.com. I mean, the name's kind of weird, but uh, these things are solid performers. If anyone was gonna ask me, hey Matt, what binoculars should I get if I want range firing binoculars, I would say these, these are the best out there. Uh, you know, the other ones will probably do just fine for most hunters or most applications, but if you just want the absolute best, most extreme ranging performance in like any condition, uh, no one's going to touch these. So there you guys go. This is our top picks for binos uh, for 2021 20, so far. Unless someone comes out with something just insane, if you want regular binoculars and you just want the absolute best of the best, best money can buy, these NL Peers are your guy. If you want the best range finding binoculars money can buy, these Leica Geofids are the binos for you. Uh, as always, if you have any questions or anything, you know, we're a bunch of gear experts and we've tested all this stuff out. Give us a call, shoot us an email, and uh, we'll help you find the best pair of binoculars or glass or anything else you could want. Thanks.